Okay, so I'm supposed to do 7.7 .7, number 7? Yes. Cool. Which says calculate secant of minus pi over 6 without a calculator. Yeah. So first things first. What's secant? What's secant? Secant is 1 over cosine. Secant is 1 over cosine. So I need 1 over the cosine of minus pi over 6. Okay, so I think I better get out my unit circle. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, then go where? I multiplied negative 1 6 by 80 because pi equals 80. So you turned it into. Okay, so you thought in degree land. Yeah. So you looked at minus pi over 6 and thought to yourself that's minus 30 degrees? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which is. Down. Which is 3 for 9. Yeah. Down. And then let's see, I might think to myself, okay, this bit's a 90, right? That and then I want to divide that into three parts. So that would be one part, two parts, and three parts. More or less. Okay, so I think there's my minus pi over six there. And then the cosine of that is which? Is it this bit or that bit? That bit. That bit. Okay, so this is cosine of minus pi over six. Right? You guys cool with this? Yeah. Okay, how do I figure out how long that side is? That 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, get yourself a 30, 60, 90 triangle out. So that triangle looks like make yourself a 60, 60, 60 triangle and then cut it in half. Okay. Right? That makes sense. So I usually do this where I make all the sides two. And then when I cut this one in half, what are those? One. One and one. Okay, so this was 60 degrees. This guy is 30 degrees. 30 degrees, or pi over 6 and pi over 3, whatever. And then dump this half. You don't need that stuff. What's this angle? 90. 90. Okay, and then this side is square root of 3, which you can either remember or get from the Pythagorean theorem. I don't care which one you do. Okay, so then I want the cosine of 30, right? Yeah. So I need to position myself at 30 degrees. Yeah. So like this, right? Sure. And then I need the adjacent to 30. Which is square root of 3. Square root of 3. And, two. and divided by the hypotenuse. Okay, so I got 1 over the square root of 3 over 2. Uh, did I just dork a sign there? Negative. 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 Oh, wait, no, you're right. Bailey says. How silly to do that. Why is it silly to ask? Oh, Why was it silly for me to ask? <laughs> yeah, because we went that way, right? Yeah. The cosine of minus pi over 6 was going to the right, hence positive. Yeah. Alternatively, cosine is a what function? Cosine is an even function, right? So you could have said, well, cosine of minus an angle is the same thing as cosine of plus that angle. Remember that? Right, the minus sign just disappears from cosine. So you could just do that. Because cosine is even. Cool. Let's call that. Okay, so I got this. And then? 1 times 2 over 3. Then you have a radical of the denominator. Yeah. So, could you go 2 times the square root of 3 over 3? Sure. If you want to rationalize the denominator because that skill used to have value, go for it. And that, Wait, that skill does not have value <coughs> to you guys. Technology. Doesn't secant equals 1 over x, doesn't it? Because I did like. No, secant's 1 over the cosine. Well, yeah, but I did cosine. I did the. I did one of them, like 1 over y, and I got to the answer. And then I tried to use this one, the 1 over x, because cosine is really x, and then I got to the answer. No, but then it worked on the other one, though. Where did the 3 come from? I meant square root of 3. I just realized. Oh, it's because of this, the hypotenuse isn't 1 in this triangle. 
If you had made the iPod just one in that time, it would work. You guys good with this? Yeah. Questions, things? I don't care if you rationalize the bottoms of fractions. That's a stupid skill to have. Oh.